Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. I'm just carrying up this little hiccupy munchkin to have a bit of a lie down feed because I have got a bad back. I did not realise how achy my back was going to get being a mum. Look how blue it is as well. We have got some serious October lighting going on. Can't believe it's October either. <laughs> Right, hang on, let me just set up. I probably should have started my vlog when I was in a nice comfy position. To do lying down so that mummy can lie down too, that would be nice, wouldn't it? So funny, I feel like she knows when the boob is coming out. <laughs> she's like this. <laughs> Even before it's out, she's just like, it's coming. <laughs> anyway, hello guys. I wanted to start my vlog. And do you know what, I'm really sad because I didn't manage to get round to filming a vlog last week and I feel weird about it. <laughs> I literally planned to film something last week because I wanted to try and get back into a routine of vlogging weekly. And not gonna lie, last week was absolutely mental and I think I just gave myself way too many things to do. I kind of gave myself what I would do before I was a mum to do for like my work side of things as well as being mum and I can't do that anymore <laughs> and I'm still sort of adjusting to that kind of fact of what I'm able to kind of do now alongside also being with Winnie. Right excuse the sudden change of scenery Winnie was not enjoying my left boob so we've moved it to the right. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying I I'm just kind of figuring out mum and work life and what kind of fits into the week realistically because I definitely wasn't realistic last week so I kind of had to just let the YouTube video go but from now we should be a little bit more chilled as well because I have kind of I had quite a lot of prep last week for the Bluey and Beyond launches and they were very very close together so it was a little bit stressful and we had two shoot days as well in London so it was all going off wasn't it Wynn and you came everywhere with me <laughs> which was very interesting but anyway we are home and we have a chilled week this week which is really nice so I thought we could spend some of it together and I'm really excited because I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a decorate this evening you know I was gonna pick up my camera tomorrow instead but I just thought you know what I quite fancy getting my house a little bit more suitable to October <laughs> So I went on Amazon last night and got a little bit of prime going on and I am going to have a bit of a re of our living room. Very subtle but just kind of cosy it up. I had a few pumpkins here and there. I found these amazing pumpkin pillows on Amazon which I'm hoping will come out nice. I'm going to like put all the beam lights on again. They haven't been on since last Christmas and just make it really snuggly so I thought we could do that together. But yeah anyway. Hello guys, I hope you're all okay and I hope you all had a good week last week when I didn't see you and um, I'm excited to just have a cosy few days together. What else did I think I was going to be doing? Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? And Niall's at the shop right now. I just messaged him actually to see if he could get me some ingredients because I'm going to make a pumpkin spiced banana bread. Was that what it was called? something along those lines i love a banana bread but i love it when it tastes like that sort of wintry spicy taste so i found a recipe and um i think we're gonna make that tomorrow i can't be bothered to do that tonight because i'm a bit tired but that'll be nice guys i cannot get over that clip in that first vlog back where i was chatting on the sofa like this and winnie was just mesmerized by the camera <laughs> Got such strong expressions it's just so so cute <laughs> you're so cute you just look like a potato smiley face just love watching her just develop and work out the world it's the best thing ever and we're just becoming closer and closer aren't we You don't get as many at the moment and it makes me sad and worried about you. You're not jealous, are you, baby? You know, you always be mummy's first baby. After Pop, of course. Do you know what? Niall was telling me that, you know, like those suggested posts you get on Instagram now, which are always, like, really random. <laughs> Mine are always about, like, Christmas or babies or puppies. And um, he was saying one came up on his 
where it said something about how to a dog we are their best friend and their whole world for their entire life every day and then they are our best friend for only part of our life it made me really sad i feel like he said it way better i can't remember the exact saying it just made me feel really emotional i wish dogs lived longer they just don't live long enough to they i mean bluey's got many many years left in her but i just can't imagine life without her and it makes me just want to don't know <laughs> crawl into a ball and to think of any time without her because she's just you're my soul sister aren't you bloob anyway <laughs> i'm gonna go in this cupboard and hunt for some decor i was gonna go in the attic but i think i have a feeling that it's the christmas in the attic and it's the autumn behind here so we'll have a little look also pumping at the same time for winnie's evening bottle this is actually a new pump that i've started using which is hands-free and it's brilliant although we can we may have some spillages but i don't have to hold it there anymore it's the medela freestyle love it I, it literally smells like caramelly pumpkins in here it's absolutely great <laughs> so i've so far found a wreath i feel like i had a different one though i can't remember if i got a new one i did get a new one last year didn't i because this one was in the kitchen I can't remember what I had on the door because I want to put that out today. I just, I don't know what I had. I'll have to watch my old vlog back and try and remember. Right, we're getting somewhere. I found acorny garlands, which I think we had like on the fireplace. And then I've also found some leafy bunting. Oh, this is nice actually. Big old leaf tray that will look nice with some candles on. I'm kind of embarrassed, but I definitely saved the doormat from last year. <laughs> it's covered in mud. Okay, we're up. I couldn't find the roof down there, so it must be up here. I have a feeling I may, may have put it with the Christmas stuff, but that is one thing that I am definitely wanting to find. Oh, Christmas is up here. <laughs> This makes me excited. That's our little um, office tree right there. Where shall I put you? It's a bit chaotic up here, to be honest. We do not have a neat attic at all. <laughs> um, found it just as I found it. My battery died and my camera flipped and fell out of the attic. <laughs> Luckily, it's very robust because it's still okay. But this is the wreath that... I thought we had, I just couldn't remember, but I, I remembered having a much nicer one than that other one last year. And actually, this one's really special because I remembered when I saw it, this has got little orange poppies and a lovely girl who follows me. Last year, because obviously my cat Poppy died, she designed this wreath around the poppies and then reached out to me to send me it for our door. So yeah, it's just this gorgeous, faux wreath it's got some little acorns in it some little ferns and yeah it's just lovely so i'm gonna pop that on the door these are the little pumpkin cushions they're a bit squidged to be up to be honest i need to kind of puff them out a bit but i think they're quite nice you know they're not too big they're not too in your face i went for white because i've also got some orange cushion covers to put on the sofa on our cushions and i thought orange pumpkins as well might be a little bit too much This is exactly what I meant yesterday by the suggested posts on Instagram. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> oh, they're always so random and just, yeah. I thought I'd share this one in case it makes any of you laugh. Anyway, we are currently got some dancing fruit going on in the background <laughs> while Winnie's having a feed. 
and um, we're going to do a bit of baking in a second. I'm still in my pajamas and it's midday, which is great. <laughs> Look at this one. I think because I just looked at that other suggested post for too long. It's now suggested me shoe memes. <laughs> I was never a size three gal, I'm a size six gal, so I was on the larger side. You better not cry when you come back to daddy. <laughs> she will. <laughs> Did you know actually that um, often babies have like favourites of parents? I saw this the saddest TikTok where the mum was just like burst into tears because she was the favourite for a while and then suddenly it switched and she was so upset. Oh, well, if she's been the favourite, you got to share. What about the dad that's not never been the favourite? We feed them. Yeah, I can see why they have a closer bond with them. I'm joking. But no, it did make me sad. She was actually like hysterical. I grew her a little bit. I grew the I grew the sperm in my <laughs> um, I grew the sperm in my balls that ended up. Niall, too far! There's a child in the room now! My little spermy. <laughs> <laughs> Niall, you can't. Mad, it's so weird, isn't it, to think. How the hell? Oh, I know. She's I not happy about it. that. I didn't mean She's it. She's not You're happy about it. You're embarrassing her on YouTube. Oh, guys. Winnie is having a bit of a grumpy week this week, isn't she? It's a leap. It's a leap. It's a leap, guys. So apparently, she's going through a big developmental phase this week, and it's the grumpy week. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, she's going through a little development developmental phase where she's learning about smooth transitions apparently that's what the app says oh, smooth, transi smooth transitions <laughs> i don't know exactly what it means but she's done from. patterns in leap two and now she's leap three she is like learning loads of new things about the world and it just stresses them out and then she has the sunshine phase which no, i'm excited for <laughs> anyway we are making some pumpkin spice banana bread I'm Whoa. giving it a go. I don't think I've done this before, but... High protein? No, not high protein. Just spicy. So, basically I'm following a recipe which is pretty straightforward really. You just put the wet ingredients together and then the dry ingredients together, then mush it together or fold it together. Actually, that's how you make bread nice, isn't it? I feel like everyone's made banana bread. Like <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. If it is pumpkin version. Comment if you've never... It's because it was the bread. lockdown recipe, that's why I was Yeah, it was, yeah. It was the lockdown. Well, that but and sourdough. I, I actually think, other than cookies, they are my favourite, like, baking thing to eat. The lockdown recipe get... for us was gin and tonic. Blackberry gin. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually drink that again as well. Ice gin and tonic. Back in the day, we must have drunk so much yeah, To be fair, I, I started making the dashim curry. <laughs> yeah. And We're... did you know? Oh, here we go. He's going to plug himself already. He just gets in. Look at you like this. <laughs> it looks like you're like... <laughs> doing salsa classes, Because we're watching too much Strictly, isn't it? You were wondering what I was going to say, did you know? Not because I want to plug, just because it's weird to leave it. No, I'm joking. The same, joking. the photographers that shot Dishoom, which is my favourite Oh, I didn't realise you were going to say that. Sh shot my cookbook. Yeah, that is very cool. That was a bit starstruck. Yeah, that is really cool. Anyway, so all we need for this recipe is ripe bananas, pumpkin puree, which I'm a bit not not quite sure on because what? I don't know. It's really old. Like, That's about five years old. It, it is quite old, but it's more just that I don't know. Oh. It's gonna make like banana bread a bit squishy, isn't it? But it's supposed to be in it. This is a recipe, isn't it? Are you following? <laughs> yes, I am. I would just create it. <laughs> well, sometimes you just wing it with baking. It <laughs> yeah, I do. Well. You can't wing it with baking. No, it's just because it's, it's quite like liquidy, so I just don't know um, yeah. how it's going to come out. We've also got some pumpkin pie spice mix, which I yeah, think I is like... I would have thought just using that, but how much puree does it say? Yeah. As well. We've got pumpkin seeds on top as well. Those are kind of the three things that make it... Pumpkin-y. Does that need to be? 
I literally get hate cooking. What? Baking with you, you just this little annoying sous chef know it all on the side. No, but it's so annoying when I just got out of the soft. fridge, go on then. That's your you job. Didn't bring it out. I preheated the oven for you as well, by the way. He's not happy oh, about this. Really. <laughs> <laughs> She, she got the cutest cry and she, Sometimes. But she doesn't. Yeah. But yeah. she's got quite a deep cry for a baby, I and think. And she goes, meh. 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 Vegetable oil, flour, two sugars, granulated and light brown, salt, baking powder. But this is a lot of recipes. A lot of recipes. Salt. A lot of ingredients. Salt. Salt. <laughs> salt. Salt. <laughs> Bicarb. Oh shit, you're such a know it all. You need me to... to Baking powder bicarb. No, this is salt in this little pot. Butter and I was thinking of possibly throwing in some chocolate chunks in there, although that is not in the recipe, but I think it might make it quite nice. Right, let's go then. So yeah, that's you basically... Some... You take dry, I'll take wet. Will right. you tell them the dog quote that you told me yesterday because I completely butchered that when I told you guys um, last night. It didn't make any sense the way I said it. So just remember your dog is your best friend for part of your life but you're your dog's best friend for its whole life. Oh it's so sad isn't it? Why don't so, dogs live for like 100 years? Yeah. Blue outlived me. She could be Winnie's dog then. <laughs> <laughs> Live longer, that's not fair. Why <laughs> can't dogs live longer? Hey, let's, let's get heard that. Oh, what are you cool. most excited for for the rest of the year now we're in the Burr months? <laughs> the Burr months? You never heard of that. Well, they're all Burr. No, no, they're not. Well, no, they're Think not. about it. January, February, September. Well, we've already been in a Burr. Yeah, so. but now we're into the Burr of the months. October. October, December. November. November's a bit of a nothing month, isn't it? Mm. There's not much that goes on in that. But and there's been some Wonderland though. Oh, November, hand. So maybe yeah. November is alright. I expect you and Carl to be dressed as Santa Claus. Leave the flower footprints around the house for Winnie. He needs you to she drink might be the a, sherry. A little, little bit young this year. <laughs> drink though. the sherry, eat the mince pie. Carl said he's going to eat the carrot. <laughs> Alright, well, is he going to be on a diet for Christmas? <laughs> He's going to be the reindeer, he says. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so right. she won't really get it this year, but I still think we should do it to start the tradition for, for my sake. <laughs> oh, this is like what they used to do when they were little. Basil, you're such a creep. Stop trying to hump him. <laughs> that is actually what he's trying to do. Okay, that is basically... Ooh. It. I will put the Shame. recipe in the description box. Shame. But oh, that sounds like how they say That's what I'm doing. Breathe. 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 Push. Oh, it's so <laughs> annoying. It's so weird. I just want to slap them all. It is weird. <laughs> Especially that aunt Push. Lisa. It's not Lisa, it's Lydia. Lydia. Aunt really. Lydia. Aunt Lyd. Going back to the birds, one thing. Oh, that tastes really nice, that does. Does it? Yeah, with all the sugar. Picture this, it's December. It's December the 13th. It's one degree. <laughs> Possibility of snowing. Getting everyone in their ASMR feels. We wrap up in our puffer jackets and our scarves <laughs> and our boots and our jeans and our, our beanies. <laughs> and we wrap Winnie up in a nice big snowsuit. What, what was Snowy. she wearing? Big uh, woolly hat as well. Oh. And gloves. Carry and we get, we, get the, we get the train down to the big city, London. <laughs> London. Mummy and Daddy and Winnie Bear are going on an adventure. <laughs> Winnie Bear, you didn't want a name to be associated with Winnie the Pooh. But... That's right. Okay now. <laughs> the pumpkin seeds, Megan. No, they go on top. Oh. The decoration. Oh, and then we get off. We get off at Waterloo, and it's snowing. And Winnie's going, Mummy, it's snowing. Oh, she's definitely yeah. gonna be talking by December and And we get the tube to. Oxford Circus and we get out and it's still snowing <laughs> and then we just walk around and probably get really cold and wet <laughs> <laughs> this is how we're Selfridges looking in, oh in December yeah Harrods yeah families so <laughs> <Shush>. <laughs> what do you do? 
So this is how we're looking. We're gonna go in the oven now for an hour and hope for the best. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Marching one by one, hurrah. She's laughing. Go, go, marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I've just speed zhuzhed myself up a bit so I don't look like a midday pyjama slob anymore. <laughs> We're really tag teaming today on like, he's entertaining here and then I'm running upstairs to like shower. I've put these waves in my hair actually, which, do you know what? It doesn't take me long at all because of the tong I use. It's the GHD Soft Curl, but it's so fast. It only takes me about five minutes to do and it's just a really nice sort of subtle wave. But yeah, then when he's like, he's got quite a lot of editing to do today, so then I'm having it and we're just swapping and switching. <laughs> she is in a bit of a grumpy week this week, a little bit more than usual, so we're just trying to keep her as happy as we can in between the tears. But I, oh my, my banana bread's ready, that's what I was going to do, was bring you down and have a little bit of a taste because I just got it out of the oven and I was waiting for it to cool so I want to see if it actually tastes nice with the pumpkin puree in it. So this is how we are looking. I feel like it looks lovely. I think it's cool enough to get out now, do you think? I swear, I am waking up in the night and singing, oh, great angle. <laughs> I'm waking up in the night and singing nursery rhymes. It's not good. I think this light's a bit overkill for a vlog, isn't it? <laughs> I did not get that out for a vlog. You got that out for a said, tiny phone clip. You said because it makes your skin glow. That's a lie. Kyle always gets this ginormous light out. Well, you use it more for food, don't you? Oh, yeah, I use it for the good part, but I like it for my reels as well. No, I'm all about the natural Things light. Things look a light. bit crisp. <gasps> oh no, it did come out whole. Oh. oh, just a tiny bit left over on the edge. That looks really good. Let's see. Look how gooey that looks. Can you see the goo on the chips? Let me see. <laughs> These songs are gonna haunt me for life. No, they're gonna remind you of Winnie. I know. Newborn, so. I know. But I do. I honestly woke up in the night last night singing. I can't even remember which one it was now. I think it was about spread, spread, spread the pizza on the bread. <laughs> I think I just made that. Don't. Oh. <laughs> I knew you were going to say oh, that. Like, no, you're doing that to trigger me, aren't you? <laughs> you're trying to trigger me. I will hate when I cut bread. Put it on a board. Oh my God. What's wrong with you? Sous chef, annoying sous chef is back. No, I'm helping you out. You Did that bit taste nice that you tasted? Mm -hmm. it? It tastes like October in a bread. It tastes like a burr month. A burr month? <laughs> you love that now that you've discovered that. It tastes that. like a burr. Right, ready? I feel like I should take a picture of it a whole first. Hang on. Let's get us some of my photo done this week. <laughs> Tick tock. Stop moving. Tick tock. <laughs> They're a bit deflated right now. Where have they gone? She just ate out of that one. <laughs> oh, bit of crisp on top, that. <gasps> that looks so nice. Not even, that sounded a bit sarcastic, but. How vibrant that is. Oh, even gassing. Look at that. do you think that looks good? It looks really fluffy. Lovely crust. Yeah, that's Better what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Bit of crisp on the outside. Mmm. <laughs> what are you? No, I didn't like it. I'm not trying to see what you're doing. You've got orange teeth. <laughs> no, I want to see what. It's like banana bread with pumpkin in it, isn't it? <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> <laughs> you always make fun of my No, no, it is nice. It's really nice. It's a tiny bit like heavier than. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually nice. I don't know why this is funny. It's, it's genuinely nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a genuinely. It's just the way when you look at me, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know if you like it or not. No, I do like I it. Like I it. like it. I like, like it. it. <laughs> Guys, I feel like I'm actually having an okay hair day for the first time in absolute ever. <laughs> I love when the curls just go almost not curly, but they still have that kind of really subtle wave in, but it almost looks messy, but it's not. And it kind of makes your hair look longer. 
after last the last vlog where my hair was looking absolutely shocking it's a nice change <laughs> anyway i've come up to the nursery because it has the nicest lighting in my house <laughs> i wanted to show you some new pieces that i've got from adenola so this part of the video is in partnership with adenola which is so exciting because they have the most gorgeous like simplistic high quality like sporty items and particularly love their sweat sets i've definitely shown you quite a few of them before but now we're going into like autumn winter season i'm really excited to have some new new pieces this is not all loungewear there are some like lovely sort of buttery let me show you but this is a little unitard but it's all just really nice sort of tonal colors and just slinky fits as well as sweat sets so first off we have one of their trackies i love these so much is because they are such ni like a nice high quality feel but also they have that kind of baggy 90s look like i hate tracksuit bottoms that are like slim fitting particularly around the bottom of your leg i feel like it just it's not a vibe <laughs> but these are kind of just really cool and simplistic and really nice material nice and sort of heavyweight and they're nice and soft inside so yeah we went for this nice gray mull and then we've got the matching sweater i went actually up a few sizes in these because i really like things to be nice and baggy we will pop that on afterwards we also have this gorgeous battery i've already tried this on actually but this is like their sort of battery fabric that they do which is so soft and like molding around the body so i have quite a lot of these already as well in different colors but they're these fitted tees which you can wear in the gym because they are sweat wicking i also like wearing these just as like a top with jeans or trackies it also go really nice with the tracky bottoms it's just a really nice soft material then we have these matching shorts as well in the same color and material with this gorgeous wrap over waistband i have the unitard which i just quickly showed you this is gonna look so nice with uggs and like a scarf also have these gorgeous sort of baggy trousers they're kind of in between trackies and smart trousers but i'll show you them on because i feel like it will give a bit more of a vibe they're like fancy sweatpants <laughs> if that makes sense so they don't look too sort of tracky like because of the wide leg and then also we have two accessories so we have this i think it's a rainproof tote bag actually which will be really handy and do you know what i might use this for Winnie's baby bag because <laughs> we're actually going on holiday next week with her for the first time which I'm a bit nervous about but I am really excited but I feel like this could be good because the thing I love about the Adenola tote bags is they are so big and they fit so much in and this one looks like it could also be waterproof which will be very handy um, and then the other thing socks <laughs> i actually have quite a lot of these because niall always gets me them for my birthday and christmas <laughs> but they're just a really good sock and if you like wearing your socks kind of high over your gym leggings like i do they're just a really good one so yeah anyway i'm going to pop everything on give you a show and show you them in kind of outfit form right i've just popped on the trackies to show you quickly what i mean by the sort of 90s baggy fit so i have actually gone up one size in these but they are naturally oversized and i could fit my size and they would still have that sort of baggy look i just wanted extra comfort but yeah they're just very basic but the material is just lovely and they feel really soft inside and just nice sort of heavyweight quality and then this is the olive green top which is just lovely and again just really nice material is very sort of simplistic that's what i love the most about adenola is they're just not fussy pieces of clothing but they will last and it's kind of like the fit and the quality that does the talking okay just to show you the matching sweatshirt with the trackies i just feel like you can't go wrong with a good gray sweat set <laughs> can you hear blue Bell snoring <laughs> she's sleeping in <laughs> in Winnie's little play thing <laughs> but yeah it's just a really nice sort of soft feel inside nice and warm and just will be so nice during like autumn winter time 
when you just want to throw something really comfy. Actually, you could wear this out as well. That's what I love about the Adenola tracksuits is because the fit is so kind of cool, it will look nice with your trainers and like a leather jacket out and about. But I've just popped the matching shorts with the top and my tote bag, which is going to be full to the rim of nappies. <laughs> like these would be really nice in the gym but also just to wear out and about still while it's not that cold yet I know I keep going on about autumn but it's actually not that cold yet <laughs> so these will look really nice as just general sort of fashion cycling shorts and they're super super comfy okay next we have the brown unitard so I've just popped the Uggs with it that I was talking about just to show you but I do feel like this would also look super nice with like chunky white trainers and then like a big baggy denim jacket i also love this brown as well because if you can see it's kind of got like a purpley undertone so it doesn't wash you out because of the sort of warmth to it which is nice so like you could just accessorize this and make so many different kind of looks chunky scarf we could do a puffer coat <laughs> so the material as well feels really nice because even though it is quite sort of buttery seamlessy it feels quite thick so it feels like it kind of keeps you in and keeps you sort of safe if that makes sense so yeah love this and i feel like i'm gonna get so many different kind of looks with it as well okay last piece we have the black trousers so as i was saying you need them on to really get a feel for what they're like but they're kind of like your smart jogger so if you're not massively into that tracky look but you want that comfort and something to throw on, then I feel like these are a really good option. And I love the wide leg and the fact that they have pockets. <laughs> it's always such a bonus when things have pockets. But yeah, that is all of the pieces that I picked up. I will leave everything linked in the description box. And if you do want to grab anything, I do actually have a code for free shipping if you use Megan Free Ship. But I am going to go and grab Winnie now and we are going to head to my nail appointment and we're going to go pumpkin fight, I think, but we'll see how we get on. Is it one? <laughs> Not quite yet. <laughs> Two. Oh, 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 she's so cute. Two, one, five. A little break now, innit? <laughs> okay, it's all the future, Abby, but you'd like a banana. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's give you your dummy. Guys, what do we think of dummies? Do we like them? I don't have that much experience with them, to be honest. Well, I've never had a baby before, obviously, but. When I was growing up, my mum never gave me a dummy. I had her on them every so often. She seems to quite like them. But she's particularly just like sucky this week while she's... <laughs> Is that a smile? I never thought to get them, but she seems to quite like it. Anyway, <laughs> we are down in the gym and I am hoping to do a little workout while Wynne watches, but I'm not sure if it's gonna happen today, to be honest, because she's just not vibing, are you? Well, then you are smiling right now, but I bet as soon as I want to do a hip thrust, all hell will break loose, won't it? <laughs> so yeah, I've come down to the gym. I'm going to try and do a little glutes workout from the new Beyond program, which I've just started, called Growth. I think I'm going to have to slightly adjust it today, so it's even quicker. The workouts are actually only 40 minutes in the, in the program, but I just have a feeling we're not going to... We're not going to have much time down here, so what I think I'm going to do, and this might sound like, why would you adjust it to that? Because it still sounds quite a lot, but what I think I'm going to do is do the hip thrust, but I'm going to do 10 sets, and that's going to be the majority of my workout today, because it means I don't have to, like, move things around. I've already set up the barbell. I don't have to, like, move bits about, change weights, and just take more time. Also, nails are done so i went for pumpkins with little white stars which i feel like are very very cute but anyway cue the workout what i will do though actually if i don't get through the session is i will pop the whole workout in the description box so if any of you guys want to have a go at it you can because it's a really good really good glute workout that i'm gonna do try to do when we were young, running from all things at once 
without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, On this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time We are up from the gym and what I think I'm gonna do is a little bit of a evening routine with Wynn. We currently don't have one at all <laughs> but I've heard from about three months a lot of people do slowly like introduce a little bit of a Hi Blue! How are you today baby? So the cuddle? Hang on. Let's just come into here and see baby Blue. Here she is. Oh, are you sniffing your sis? Oh, Blue, that's very sweet. I noticed the past week that she's not really like, not as settled in the evenings, just in general. So what I think I'm gonna do tonight, I'm running us a bath. So I think I'm gonna go in with Wynn tonight. I actually prefer to go in there with her. I feel like it's one of my favorite things to do with her. So we're running a little bath in there, which will be lovely. And I think I might, Although I know she's not going to understand, I think it's nice to start reading them books young, just so, I don't know. My mum did it all the time when I was little. They're like really vivid memories I have of my childhood is reading in the evening with her on the sofa. So we're going to do that. What I want to do actually is show you some of the books we've got because some of them are my favourites from when I was little. Like Elmer, I mean that's just the classic isn't it? This one as well I loved, One Snowy Night. We're going on a bear hunt. Does it take any of you guys back? I feel like these books are just so adorable. The Tiger Who Came to Tea I know is really popular now, but I never read that. But I did read it her the other day and she kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> Not that I think she understood anything, but what else do we have? Oh, The Hungry Caterpillar. I mean, everybody knows that one, don't they? So I think, do you know what? I've tried to read her Elmer so many times and it always ends in tears. So <laughs> we're gonna try and get through it today. <laughs> Let me just pop you by there, because I can't do much with one hand. Okay, Medji, you can have a cuddle. Right. There once was a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old. All different, but all happy and all the same colour. All, that is, except Elmer. Guys, she is well and truly gone. <laughs> that she has worked, but she is gone. <laughs> and so is Bluebell, look. Are you listening to the story too? Oh! Ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. You were born in the water, little baby. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Right, we've got a bit of a sandwich going on right now. <laughs> Bluebell is so cute though. Ever since when he came home from the hospital, whenever we feed, she's just really close by. She really reminds me of the dog from Peter Pan. You're a big softie, aren't you, Blue? You're just like Nana. But yeah, we're at the bath. We actually had a really lovely bath. We were in there for quite a while, and Winnie's obsessed of these little rubber duck things. They're like Halloween-style rubber ducks. They're so cute, and she just stares at them constantly and dribbles. <laughs> There's like these little witch ducks and then these little ghosts and she's just mesmerised so she was having a great time with them for quite a long time. We actually got a bit pruney because we were in there so long so I thought we should get out. Yeah, we're out and we have EastEnders on the iPad and Wynn's having a bit of milk. Blue's having a snuggle. I don't know where Baz and Biscuit are. They're probably downstairs having a fight. <laughs> <laughs> They're back into their like playful fighting phase. I don't know what's going on, but I think I am actually going to finish up this vlog here. I think my next video actually might be a holiday vlog because we are going on our first abroad trip with Wynn, which I'm very excited but also very nervous about <laughs> because I'm just worried I'm going to forget something because I've never travelled with a baby, but hopefully all will be okay. And I am hoping on filming some of that, so that'll be probably the next vlog but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching this one i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you're all okay and i will hopefully see you very soon in another video